Okay, now I'm back. Um, <coughs> so, well, I'm dang, <laughs> I got so weak I had to go eat. So I don't know if you can see my head there. While I'm, got that aimed up there where I'm going to be working. And uh, so I've got it to where... Uh, I've got it to where the... Uh, See, I've got one light bulb in it and the adapter. I went ahead and put the adapter in there. And uh, I don't think I'm going to leave it like that unless I just don't feel up to. I think I'll put a box down there. Uh, we can't see it now, but uh, as you travel down about, I don't know, a shoulder height to me, a little below my shoulders, there's a light switch. It's kind of at the normal height of a light switch in a house. And so what I can do is as the cable comes into the switch, see it comes down from the attic into the switch and then back up to the light. So what I need to do, I'd rather have my power, you know, on my, on my, my power, my plugs be unswitched so that that camera, so that that security camera always stays on unless you unplug it. So uh, I'm going to put it on the line going into the switch and then, uh, you know, then it'll come back up to the light. I may redo the light. I mean, well, it, it works really well. I mean, well, I mean, it mounted easy and everything. I may leave it like that. It's kind of, I don't know, looks kind of fun. Uh, but then just have two bulbs in it. Uh, but right now I left that in there. I, you know, I can at least use it for uh, testing the light, the, the camera and all that stuff. Uh, make sure that that's where I want the camera. Then I want to go to the trouble to wire the box. I've been wanting a box there. I've been wanting a boxer since I was a kid, actually, and uh, I ended up wiring that dedicated circuit over there. It's got 20, it's two circuits, 20 amp and 15 amp, and I use that. But you, you still need, a, when you're outside working, it's a pain to have to run the cord up into the garage because then you're tripping on it every time you're walking back and forth. I've got 200 foot cords and a 50 foot 20 amp cord, but uh, that, you know, I've got plenty of cords and plenty of length, but. Uh, and actually, the one that it's plugged into now is another dedicated circuit. It's a 15-amp circuit uh, that just goes down a Romex to a four-way. I uh, wired that years ago, and it's kind of sitting in the middle of the garage because that's where the we got a freezer over there now. So uh, I'm going to put some zip ties on those wires. I'm kind of I'm, I'm really concerned about keeping. Well, yeah, you can see the pulleys there. <laughs> I don't usually do this, but it's working. Uh, those pulleys move, well, I think that's as far as they go that way, but then they come back up this way when the door comes by. And so that wire needs to be, you know, carefully in between. I mean, you've got like six to eight inches in between there, but it needs to be careful. You don't want anything getting into those pulleys and anything. And so I'm going to zip tie the, where I did my wire nuts so that even if the wire nuts were to come off, you'd have to get up there and touch it, you know, to get shot. And if I find something to cover it with, I'll do that too. Something that that thing that goes goes with it is not, you know. Let me get it. Actually, it might make a good well, sort of a good pattern. This thing that goes with it is just like tough cardboard or something. It's kind of like gasket material is what it feels like for a car, you know, automotive stuff. But, you know, it's not going to do anything. There's no way to attach it, really. I guess I could try zip tying it down using those holes, but we'll see. I've got it over there. Uh, so I got some zip ties. And, uh, you know, I can take this drill off of here. It's just in my way now, I think. I don't think I'm going to be driving any more screws. I'm not sure yet. Just when you put everything away, that's when you need it again. So I'm just going to... Leave it over there for now. But yeah, I gotta put all this stuff away. You, this garage is so full. I have to put everything back in its place. And some of those things I had just kind of haphazardly set around. You know, I didn't feel like messing with them. Hopefully, well, maybe I can put some of them over here. You can't see it again. Uh, when I moved those boxes around, I realized I got enough room to put a couple of boxes over there. So, so I won't have to move so much stuff to get my drill out again next time. Zip ties. Okay, so I've got... Oh, I've got long ones, medium ones, 
and I had a whole kit, a whole kit of different sizes of these, little ones, little white ones. I was thinking I would just use them. Uh, I was gonna just dig some out. Yeah, let's dig some out because this is a big old bag to try to stick there with my tools. I can't get that bag open. Let me get over here where I'm not risking the video. Oh, that helps. Okay. So I'll pull out a couple of these. I'll pull out three of them. If I need longer ones, I don't know. Pull out a couple of three of them. They may help me here with this wiring too. Some of these short ones. Oh, there's a there's a longer white one left over. I mean, I don't need something really strong for what I'm doing here. For the, uh, you can, I don't know, I think you can see the, one of the wire nuts, maybe you can see one of the wire nuts up in the top of the little light. Anyway, I want to anchor them down so that they won't, you know, somehow move around and get up in that moving stuff. And, uh, you know, one thing that would be a good cover for that is, a, you know, I don't know if I have one. I might have had one kind of roundish, uh, plug plate, you know, or lot. Well, it's a light hanger box, I guess is what it really is for a light. Uh, yeah, for a light. <laughs> so maybe and a, and a cover. The, what I was thinking is the cover for one of those would be just ideal. Uh, they actually match up where you can screw them. Well, you have to hang them in the. You know, you're supposed to hang them in the ceiling, and then, you know, if you've ever changed a light fixture out, and you see that little box up in there you minor metal that nowadays they usually use fiberglass or plastic or something anyway the whole box could could go on there uh yeah that's right i can take it that nut that that finger screw in the middle that'll drop the whole thing down off of there and allow me to actually mount the box properly to that bracket now that i got that bracket screwed down i can unscrew that see it was just clamped up there at first just got lucky that those brackets came down on the brackets that are just sticking out those angle angle iron is what angle it's not iron but angle brackets uh, and then when I screwed that it just you know wedged them together that's why I decided to do that because it was easy and I thought well you know what having two lights would really give me the light I've always wanted right in that in this area that area anyway uh, I'll show you the lights it does it's already working I got that finished a while ago let me see that my video is still making. If I'm going to talk to myself, I've been talking to myself half the night when the video is not working. So, okay, so it doesn't come on, and then it comes on. So I got another bulb here. Put it in this one. Let's see if all of it works. Yep, there we go. So let me get back and see much light we'd have. Wow, that's pretty bright. Okay, now I'm going to turn the other one on. And I can reach that other one with no problem like that, you know, without a string on it or anything, so you won't be running into it. <laughs> it looks like headlights or something. That'll make some light. Let me turn, turn the one off that's aiming at my work area. It's actually too bright. I needed, like, shades on them or something. Can't look up. If I had a way to mount one of these, these uh, dur uh, things, I don't know what to call them. Anyway, I might have to figure out something. Uh, yeah, now I can just flip them on and off. You know, it's really quite functional. <laughs> and now if you can do this. Say if I wanted to, well, that switch is a little wonky. Yeah, I could do that. That was my original idea, is to turn the light off and leave the switch up. But, you know, people will come, somebody will want to turn the light on, I'll do it. They'll come out here wanting to turn the light on, and I'll be flipping that switch up and down and wondering what's wrong. Because that's a pretty, pretty secret switch up there. I would forget that it was there. 
and I'm the one that did all this. So, uh... We're gonna do something about getting that cat, that Romex up. I'm just gonna anchor it to the actual two befores up there. Oh yeah, I do need the drill. First, I'm gonna do like I said. First, I'm gonna do the. Uh, well, that line don't nothing compared to those two. This one over here. I would show. I watch. I got them out. Well, I guess they didn't get get in the video. Okay, I'll turn this over here and show it. Here's what. Where is it? There it is. That is what I'm talking about. Uh, that kind of a fixture that uh, those used to be really common that that's old uh, out, there was some around this house that one of those kind of deals is what was hanging outside this hole that I keep talking about that I'm going to reuse for the for the uh, wire to come through except for it's going to be bigger so that, like I was saying earlier it'll have to be bigger so that my uh, Stuff will go through. Uh, thought I was gonna finish this tonight. But yeah, I want to be able to get. See, I can get them, stick them through one at a time. But then once you get that one in there, you you know you'll still have the thickness of the wire. So you'll have to have it big enough so that you can fish that one through. I don't. Want, I'll, hopefully, I won't have to make it big enough for all three of them at once. I don't think so. I mean, this is not real long, but. And that'll be perfect length to come through just it doesn't I mean all I have is the uh, the shingles and plywood they're put on and then the uh, the, the blackboard that it's a kind of a concrete board this is a brick house and that's what they use uh, behind the brick so uh, let me get up there and uh, <coughs> I think that pair of towels, or else I just, my shirt, I think I just shook my shirt enough to get something out of it. Okay, I, I'm, I mean, I feel much better than I did a world ago. I went all, skip lunch. I'm a diabetic. You just don't do that. The only reason I got by with it is because I ate a protein bar. And then I kept, kept eating mostly just little tiny about that actually that big you know Hershey's Nuggets every time I started feeling bad and hungry and then uh, once I ate a cheese stick I kept thinking oh I'm gonna get done I'm gonna get done and I'm going to need finally I was about to clap so I had to go I had to go I had to quit okay let's see what I did when I started I couldn't keep my thoughts straight and then I had all the no trouble that I usually don't have with my video. Okay, so, uh, yeah.
wanted to fix your screw there. Oh, it's like I'll oh, have to use I was thinking I didn't really need to use the big black ones, they'd even be harder. tool that I learned about real good well okay so you know I've used zip ties of course on and off most of my life but I never learned this until 2000 when I had a job installing in tel telephone company telcos telephone company off central offices anyway it's not a flush cutter wire cutter you can cut that down so close that it won't and especially if you you know kind of Delay it a couple of times. It's hard to get to. Get to it. <laughs> I thought it didn't need that knife. I might use that. Yeah, let me try that next. Before I... Normally, this is what I'm talking about. Normally, when you can get to it, you can cut them down so close with those flush cutters that uh, there won't be anything sticking up sharp that can cut you. Those things will cut you quicker than one of these knives here. Okay, now the wires, those wires are tucked down real nice. I'm not sure where I want the ground wire. I don't think I'd really want it hooked up. And I think it still gives me a little charge when it... Uh, I think it's the ground wire is actually sending a little back feed back through it, and uh, I think I'll tape it up. I wasn't sure how I wanted to do it. I had it on that uh, screwed to out. Oh, yeah, it uh, it gets you. I had it screwed to that other fixture, so I think that and it was screwed to the wood. I think that's why it was able to get me because it was. Uh, 
it was he was doing that. It was back feeding and stuff. And I, I probably hooked it up that way. And I'm just gonna. Ow! Dang it! Yeah, no doubt about it. It's doing that. I've tested it enough times tonight. Okay. I gotta find some black tape. Let's see, we don't have any that's handy and easy to get to. Yes, I do. Yes. Yes, I do. It's right here in my toolbox. some decent ones. Some of this is pretty old. I keep it in the toolbox so that it will be used on kind of things that aren't as important. If when I don't or when I'm working on a car and I don't mind getting a little dirty. It's, it's still fine but it's so sticky. Anyway stay here in the light. Actually there may be just be enough light over here. Yeah. Got to find the end of it. To get started. I may have to go quit. <laughs> I've had to do this before. You have to get. I have to get a magnifying glass to see where the end of the tape is. I think maybe I found it. Maybe found it, or I found a nick on it. Sometimes I just find a nick on the tape and I end up, you know, trying to peel it off. Okay, I got it. I keep on feeling like that little shit, like I'm getting shot, but I think I'm just touching sharp edges and stuff. Ow! Everything is sharp up in here. But all this, I know, yeah, there's a difference. <laughs> But that daggone ground wire, I think that is the, I don't think there was anything wrong with the, uh, that fixture. I think it's just that this ground wire was hooked up to it and it was doing, making a back feed. I can't believe that. I have, uh, I guess I've read it or seen it in videos. I don't. Well, I guess I have experienced it, and I don't remember. I can't be honest. Sometimes I, you know, think sometimes I know something, and it's so vague as to where I learned it. I could have known it since I was. See, I, when I was 18 years old, I got a job for a company called Wichita Oil Company in Wichita Falls. I moved up there, and. Uh, they train and that there was a Texaco job or Texaco gasoline or oil, Texaco oil in Wichita Falls. They uh, wait. I don't even know if you can hear me. I'll tell later. I will tell the story later because I put that.
Super bad, uh, you know, they're as good as those plastic and anchors. The screws here are pretty decent looking. They can, I can kind of tell by the weight they're not heavy duty like those black screws, but they've got more thread, bigger thread. That'll be enough to hold the wire steady. Put another one up there. This time, I wanna... this time I'm using the black screw. Though. Where are they? I see one, I don't see the other. I was gonna reuse the one that was already covered in sheetrock. Oh, no, oh, there it is. It probably won't want to go in that hard now. I know what'll happen, it'll probably break. The, the one with the silicone in it will be, be more likely to go into that wood. That sheet rock doesn't, uh, it's not a good lubricant. So, let's see about. My, I started to try to replace that. There's a nail over there on the original install to hold that up. And I thought, well, I started to, and you can just turn it and get it off and turn it back and, and it'll hold it. <laughs> started, I thought, oh, I should change that nail, you know, because I've learned better ways since then. But you know what? That's worked good for 50 years or so. I think it'll work a couple more. Hasn't cut into the wire or nothing. You know, in a, in a car, truck, anything that vibrates, wherever it might be, anything that moves a lot and vibrates a lot, you don't want anything. You want things like that rubber grommet. That's that's what that's for. Is for a, I think I got those from my buddy's dad. Uh, I suppose they were for the helicopters. That he No, he worked at LTV, not Bell Helicopter. LTV, and they were air, aircraft manufacturing. I know those parts when I see them because I worked at GD and uh, I've seen enough of them, you know. I didn't bring any home though. I'm going to keep my job. <laughs> but uh, who knows? That's a different company. They might have sold them to them or gave. Might have gave them some for all I know. I know. I'll tell you one thing. I know. I knew some guys that got laid off from Bell Helicopter. And I worked at GD and it's Lockheed now, but it was GD when I worked there. And uh, they had a program to where 
you know, any kind of hand tools or cool, like cool, expensive ones. Uh, you could check them out over the weekend. Use them all weekend, but you better, you know, you got to bring them back by Monday or I don't know what they do. Charge you for the whole tour or something. Can't remember. But uh, there was nothing like that going on in GD, that's for sure. They didn't give you nothing like that to let you. I always dreamed. What if you could come in there? Well, I worked, I was a tool maker for a bunch of years out there, and I dreamed. Had a mill. We had a Richport mill, a turret lathe, big band saws, uh, hand, t you know. The hand tools, they were all air, but they had so much air pressure, they worked great. But, you know, some of the electric drills and stuff from more, that we used in the cabinet shop before before I got on there, uh, more powerful, actually, you know. But they did the jobs that they needed to do, and actually there was one. Normally, you'd use a regular half-inch air hose, but they had uh, air hoses that were, well, they were about an inch and a half on the outside. On the inside, I don't really remember. Probably, uh, and when I said half-inch air hose, I'm talking about outside diameter, quarter-inch inside, uh, I think. Maybe three-eighths. Three-eighths inside, yeah. There's What are the two common sizes? Quarter ID... 3H ID, and then I think it's about three-quarter ID is what we had out there. And they would make, there are some big tools that were, you know, that were used on them. And actually, they would start out real powerful, and then they would lose their poop because that was enough to kind of drag on the air. They, I don't know, I never saw their air compressors. The whole building was piped with inch and a half or two, yeah, two-inch pipe, uh, uh, I think it was galvanized pipe that was, it was all painted, so you didn't really couldn't see it good. But I don't think it was black pipe like for gas. A whole freaking factory, uh, over a half a mile wide and a, a half a mile wide and over a mile long, was piped with for air, electricity, everything. Air conditioned inside, except for down at the south end, where they did the, uh, you know, bringing in stuff and where they did acid etch and some stuff like that. I worked down there in that area some where the acid etch was. Got sick every time I went down there. They wanted me to uh, ground out cracks so they could be welded. Uh, at that time, the first thing I did out there was a hand finisher for three years. And I was out there, I think, th about 13 years old together. The rest of the time, I was a tool maker. I like that. Okay, so... Uh, take this thing and cut it yeah I'm going to cut it with the scissors Did I, do, I think I took them on the wrong cut it. yeah I've got the scissors and uh, there's a splitting already in one place there's also a <laughs> it's been bent real bad let me see I don't think I kind of ended up getting my cable pretty much in the middle like I wanted it. So that bent part's off to the side. Oh, it's already been split. Why? For being bent. So I don't think it would work. Let's see if I go down there. Curve crank. I think I'm just going to lay it up there and let it uh, North down won't be so bad so I'll just go down where it's already it's a cut it's you know bending anyway I'm gonna cut a hole out for the wire and that'll be something to help with the protection and then you know like when I can work on it again maybe I'll figure out a, a you know something really like a metal box yeah, that'll at least, uh, you know, well, the, keep it, you know, for one thing, it'll kind of catch dust, and then for the other thing, it'll be, uh, what it's for is to keep, uh, <coughs> you know, things from shorting out, right? So, uh. I'm 
kind of do need to open them. No, let me see. The door goes down. Yeah, when the door goes up, it goes that way. I've worked on this a lot. This, these springs broke, and well, I actually welded a hook. There's these hooks you put on there. Welded a hook on one or both ends, and but I, the more I welded, the <laughs> I finally welded until I, I cut. I ended up cutting it through. I was trying to be careful. I ended up cutting through the wire, and when you heat it up, yeah, it loses its tension. But then that made it for me heating it up, welding on it. That made the wire bend. Because that, that spring, you don't just, be, you don't bend that spring. <laughs> if you were to bend it, like put it in a vise and hit it with a hammer or get a vise grips on it, it would just snap. But when I heated it up, I wasn't intentionally heating it up so that I could bend it, but that's what I ended up doing. So, uh, <coughs> let me get my, uh, hang the camera down again. Uh, so you know what, that's no, <laughs> that'll work, uh, where's that plug box, so I'll put the, uh, yeah it's just above the ladder, so I'm going to go over there and I'll show you what I'm thinking with the plug, uh, that's not the plug, it's a light, but, uh, so you know that's where this has been mounted, like I said, since, since we got the house in 63 or something like that. Anyway, I can put a plug box up in here, coming down from the main wire in, and then that'll go just like it is. And I actually have one over there. I saw it. That's a switch, one switch and one plug. And I think I've already, I think, and it's all like put together. I think I already tried it in here and I couldn't get it to work. And I don't know. Maybe I'll have a, another brain fart and I was just not wiring it right. So I'm kind of thinking now. I remember. Just going and going and going, trying to figure it out, and I thought, okay, it doesn't work. And uh, but now I'm thinking, you know, I can, you know, sometimes when my brain ain't working right, I used to be good at that kind of, every, you know, this kind of stuff. Uh, but just like a while ago, I was saying I worked at Wichita Oil. I didn't say what I was trying to get at is they uh, at 18 I got that job there. They, first they put me in a car wash, running a car wash, and then they trained me to do maintenance on car washes, gas stations. And at that time, in 1975, 76, 77, there were, uh, gas uh, companies had started, that's when self-service gas became a thing. And they started, uh, what they do, everything was service stations, you know. And they'd remodel, the, they'd remodel sometimes even enlarge, not usually, but sometimes they would enlarge the building, you know, the building part, like the garage. You'd close it in and make it the store. And the office, you know, would be like the office for the store or whatever, or, or the checkout counter usually was what, it was just about right to make a checkout area. And so uh, we would do that. We'd usually, well, I remember we hung, that's where I learned to hang suspended ceilings. Anyway, uh, the electrical, uh, like one time we had a, a elect real electrician come in it, the the load had been the people had messed around in the breaker box over years and everything was out of balance uh, and we balance he, he he balanced the load for us and me and my boss we watched and learned you know my boss already knew but but uh, he just thought that one was complicated enough he needed to hire somebody and so I stood there and watched that guy the whole time I helped him you know I'd hand him tools and stuff and uh, I learned a lot right there but over the over the years. Uh, Anytime there, especially if it was something where you had to legally have an electrician do it, then we'd do that. And so, uh, I, you know, I watched and learned. Oh, that's how I learned everything my whole life until I got. Well, I still kind of, I still do that with computers. Really, I learned everything my whole life. I didn't. I did get to go to school for one and a half semesters for audio video stuff. That's where I really wanted to get into. Well, I did get into mixing sound for bands, but mostly volunteering. But. Uh, uh, anyway, I learned, you know, building maintenance, electrical, AC, you know, air conditioning, heating, repairs, and a uh, little bit of this, a little bit of that. And I worked on my own cars my whole life because I always liked it. I used to like doing that. I don't really like it anymore, but now I do it because I just can't afford to have it done. And I can't stand to pay as much as people charge and then them not do it to my satisfaction, too. That's really, 
you hire somebody to do something and you you know you would do it better you know or at least to your own satisfaction even if it's not technically better sometimes but anyway uh nowadays i make so many mistakes <laughs> let's see where's my well, my camera's not so I was going to go, well, anyway, I kind of pointed out, but I didn't, I didn't really go in, I didn't, uh, well, I guess I did, I just said what I wanted to do, I'm trying to put my zip ties back in the bags they came from, I don't like it when they're all just all the same size. They're, they've got their bags they came in. So I got them inside of that big plastic bag. So that, you know, I know what size I'm grabbing. Because those white ones, there's very few of them little white ones left now. But those white ones my buddy gave me in a kit of assorted sizes years ago. And uh, still haven't completely used them all up, but I got down to where I didn't have too many when I needed them. A good size of one, you know. I didn't have it. So I bought those black ones. I don't use them real often. It doesn't handy when you need when you need them if you're done. Okay, so uh let's see. Where's the little one? I think that one looks okay, but these are the orange uh, they're pretty good. I like these orange ones. The size, they'll fit more sizes of wire, and they're and they're pretty sturdy. And they got metal inserts in them. Uh, they always grab the wire better than the ones that are pure plastic. Now, this one's all right, but this one came, was in it, in that fixture already. But that's a spring that will just screw it. Sometimes you'll, they'll stay on the wire and come out when you unscrew it. They'll stay on the wire and... Uh, the cap will come off but uh this here i guess it's a little bit tougher it's it's in there better and uh anyway one of these was not grabbing good and i don't even know which one i usually used to never throw them away but you know if you see that they're rusty don't keep them because uh they will i've got enough new ones i'm throwing these away this time Write it down. I threw something away. Oh, mark your calendar. Just don't tell nobody. I'm not known for throwing anything away. And I don't want to tarnish my reputation. Let's see. Well, I kept... I got a couple of extras out of that box. That box used to be handy and easy to get to. Now it's kind of hard to get to. So, so I'll get some and I'll stick them somewhere. You think I remember where they're at? No. I dug around and dug around thinking, okay, I probably got a couple here, a couple there. And finally we went over and got the box out. There they are, all the brand new ones. That's, uh, yeah. and that's probably where I would put them. Because that is my electrical box. That's for my electrical stuff. But right now I'm going to put them back in my watch pocket on my jeans. Because... And then they'll end up in the wash because uh, I have got a lot of cleaning to do to get to, get to that area. So, uh, I don't have my air. If I had my air compressor to work and get to it, my air hose, I could just blow that. Blow all that dust off of that. Let's see. That's my inside screwdriver. Okay. And, uh. Oh, I didn't ever find the, uh. Let me go back over here now. Whoa, turn. There you go. You're gonna stay in there? You don't want to stay in there, so let's just leave it up in the air. And uh, I was going to aim this kind of where I was going anyway, so. Well, 
if it'll stay it usually does that's what I was doing okay so these things see now I can see the screen those are the ones that I consider to be better of these plastic this ridge when you drive them in if the holes not too big then that ridge will stop it from going too far this one just went right all the way through first tap plus the but to, to, to be fair to these things the sheetrock was there's nothing in here oh there are screws in there I think I think they're heavy and they went to the bottom no it's just anchor somewhere I've got you know little kits with like that with this see these these bigger screws came with the uh, these I guess I could put them together I was thinking I would quit dropping things sometime I was thinking I would uh, I've got that setting somewhere where it doesn't show don't I so I figured I'll just yeah I'll just screw them in there a little bit and get them started and I'll go ahead and put them in there I think that's a good place to keep them. Not that. What's this? Drywall. Oh, that's the ones I just I found and I was using. They came from over there. Yeah, I did write drywall screws on my little thing. I don't know why. I guess it's because I used them last with those face frame screws that are over here on the desk. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to kind of get those started so I'll know next time that they belong together. This really, I think, uh, it didn't want to go. I think that's, if I'd have had a screw that was more matched for that, it might have actually worked. I think it would have pulled out in with no time, though. But, uh, of course, I put what I ended up doing is putting with those silver screws straight into the sheetrock. And they've got those big threads, so they, uh, well, there's what I lost. So they, uh, put that in there. And there's, there's the other one that I dropped. I knew I dropped one. Okay, so, uh, and that's, oh, that goes on here. Those were up front where I have stuff like that, but I think I'll put them right there now. Some little drywall screws that I cut off. regular but these ones that are face frame screws I don't well I guess it I never know what I'm gonna use next do I three eight screws oh that's those little short ones and uh, I didn't realize I have a bunch of my screws on top over there so these I was gonna put back now this is something kind of cool I can show it here. This was some assorted screws, and that's uh, those are the ones I, I hung that screwed the self tappers that were just right, big enough, but not too long to attach that fixture bracket to the garage thing. But anyway, these are lids to those big plastic red coffee. You get grinded, pre grinded coffee in, and uh, <laughs> they work perfect for coasters. Put your screws in, and here's one with the lid on it. That's what I'm talking about. I, I like the coffee beans, but uh, my brother he drink he like he doesn't like the he likes just the old ground coffee. So we get both. Oh. I guess that was setting. I don't remember where it was setting. I guess I'll put it right there. One of these is empty. I used to kind of leave one handy to grab and put stuff in. Okay, uh, that's empty, but it's handy to have one empty that you know where it is. That goes on my back of the house. And the next time when I come out to do stuff, I want to be able to find this stuff again till the next time I come out and finish this job now uh, yeah I'm gonna put my I don't know why I thought that was of any use to see I might fill up the cord for the
I'm just putting stuff away. Okay, so uh, yeah, I think I'm done with the grill. Got that done well enough. Boy, that puts a lot more light. Now the whole end of the garage down here, you can see. Again, you can't look up. I, I, I can't look up. My eyes are sensitive to light. So I can't look up anywhere around here now. But that cord is so dirty, I don't even want to touch it. I'm whiny. I don't want my hands to get all dirty. I keep wiping them. Especially that old grimy, you know, dirt that you walk around in. Well, actually, I just remembered I broke that light bulb at the beginning. And I didn't want to pick it up. I wanted to... But I was trying to hurry. And uh, so I, I've been walking in it and everything else. And that cord's been wallowing around in it. It's over there under that, under that ladder. I think I hear it raining again. But yeah, I'm going to hang this back up. See if I can get it on here in a good way. 